don't know if there's a map online of the layout of this camp's ground ground here or not. Looks like they brought their Halloween with them too. Watch this bridge here when you come out. <laughs> there are steps that you don't see. All right, see so here we got sites one through 139, sites 140 to 216, sites 217 to 224. So that tells me they got at least 224 campsites here. That's a lot of sites. That's a lot of sites. I'm gonna walk up this way to the one to 139. I don't know what that building is there, if that's a camp store. I don't know what that is. I think I might walk up there first and see what that is. Then I'm gonna walk this way because this is sort of probably the direction I wanna go to find a way back into the woods. Like this is a wash house. It's a pop machine. Laundry. Open 8 to 9, 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. over there and sit down and eat but I think I should probably find another one as I walk up towards the one through 139 sites I doubt that's the only spot it's as big as this place is I doubt this is the only wash house so let's head up towards the front okay I don't really like putting people on my fit videos but there's a lot of people here camping today and a lot of people with Halloween decorations up. I've seen a lot of them. But it's pretty full down in this section. The other section I was at earlier didn't look so full. But down through here, so far I only saw one campsite or two campsites that were vacant. Other than that, every site down through here in this area has got somebody there. Yeah, I don't know if they have some type of Halloween event going on down here or what. I'm really surprised that there's some really trick-or-treat see I'm really surprised at how full this place is and how many people got Halloween stuff up okay all right had to look on my map and find out exactly which one of these roads will get me back up towards the front of the campground. I did look at and see if there's another trail that I can jump onto, take me back up to where I'm at by the lodge. And I found a bridle trail. The problem though is the bridle trail is a loop and basically brings me right back to here. But I did notice a spot on there that it comes really close the trail that will take me back to the lodge so I'm gonna have to watch for that to where I get to that point and then just bushwhack through the woods to get to the other trail it doesn't look like all that big of an area I mean probably like maybe a hundred feet it comes really close to the other trail so um, I Guess that's how I'm gonna how I'm gonna go back to the lodge. That way I don't have to go back the same way I come in.
is a dog park. And this is the entrance, the main entrance to the campground, which is where you come in. Uh, here's the dog park right here, and it takes you back into all the different drives to um, different campsites. Now I'm going to try to see if I can find the bridle trail up here so I can jump on it and head back towards the lodge. This is interesting. <laughs> I wonder how many of these uh, decorations. I think a lot of them at the campsite, so are probably personal ones. But they even got lights on them to light them up at night. It's supposed to be a spider, and that's a spider web. <laughs> 